Hi everyone, I'm Kathy Delaney, Chief Creative Officer at Saatchi and Saatchi Wellness. I am honored to present to you today the prescription paper pill bottle. There are four of us presenting today, but we four represent a much larger team of passionate people who came together to make this dream a reality, all of whom greatly appreciate receiving the Plastic Free Award. So to the Dialine Awards jury and a Plastic Planet, we thank you. First, we'd like to share with you our case study film. Then we'll walk you through how we created it. Everything from the challenges and surprises to the mistakes and the solutions. So here we go. Every year, the mass production of billions of prescription pill bottles made of recyclable plastic end up in landfills and ocean dumps. Because small bottles can't be recycled, they become toxic waste that devastates our marine life and natural ecosystem. The time is now to protect our precious planet. Made in partnership with Tom, the global movement of makers and innovators, the prescription paper pill bottle is 100% compostable and biodegradable while meeting FDA regulations for child protection, labeling, light and water resistance. The bottle is not harmful to the environment. Created with an open source design of earth-friendly paper, coating and glue, it's available to any pharmacy for downloading at the Tom website and developing at any makerspace. Now pharmacies can offer their patients compostable paper pill bottles to fill prescriptions. Once emptied, the paper bottle can be composted to enrich soil, giving back to the earth. After launching, word spread through social media channels, driving traffic to the Tom website. In just a short time, we not only started the conversation on sustainability within the pharmaceutical industry, we gave patients a new unprecedented solution, allowing for medicine that's not only good for your health, but also packaging good for the planet. Hi, I'm Scott Carlton, Creative Director. Um, as you well know, Plastic pill bottles are a problem in the United States, a big problem. Prescription pill bottles in the U.S. are um, typically made of recyclable polyethylene plastic, but because of their small size, 90% of them ne are never recycled. The problem lies in the metal sorting device used in neighborhood recycling stations. Smaller items the size of pill bottles slip through the holes in the devices so they're rejected and then sent straight to dumps. This means billions of plastic pill bottles end up sitting in landfills and ocean dumps each year, polluting our planet and compromising our ecosystem. Our challenge was to create an alternative to the plastic pill bottle. And in doing so, we have four key objectives as we embarked upon this design process. Number one, uh, the bottle had to be 100% compostable and biodegradable. Two, it had to meet uh, objectives. It had to um, meet all the FDA regulations for child, light, and water resistance. Um, three, we, we wanted to make the bottle available to all pharmacies. Um, and number four, we wanted to cre increase the conversation um, around sustainability within the pharmaceutical industry. Um, the journey we chose to embark upon, while fascinating and challenging, um, did have many ups and downs. Hi, I'm Liliana Vasquez, Creative Supervisor. The prescription paper pill bottle is a simple idea, but designing it, not so simple. <laughs> we looked at paper tubes, barrels, and boxes, and then we explored issues surrounding sustainable packaging, landing on three key design essentials. The bottle design must be paper, not plastic. Paper is more easily compostable, biodegradable, and less harmful to the planet than plastic. It had to be compostable over recyclable, Compostable bottles can biodegrade to replenish the soil while recycling has sorting limitations and can create a larger footprint in transport and processing. And it also had to further the greening of healthcare. The concern for sustainability within healthcare is growing with 
50% of U.S. hospitals looking for eco-friendly solutions in supplies and operations. The prescription paper pill bottle is made of 100% compostable and biodegradable paper. The bottle contains no plastic, artificial glue, toxic dyes, or coatings. And it meets FDA regulations for water, light, and child resistance. Made in partnership with Tom, Tikkun Alam Makers, the global maker group dedicated to innovation. The paper pill bottle has an open source design available to any pharmacy and produced bottles have been distributed to local pharmacies for trial. Once emptied, all the elements of the bottle can be tossed into community and private compost to decompose and enrich the planet's soil instead of polluting it. Everyone loved our idea, but could we pull it off? That was the question. Hi, I'm the designer, Jeremy Sharlock. This was a design project of a lifetime. I've been really excited to work on it, but it wasn't easy. This little bottle here, it's the result of over 12 months of research, design, testing, refining, and more design, all done collaboratively with Tom. We launched in September, 2020, making the design available along with instructions to anyone who can download. So any pharmacy, pharmaceutical company, or anyone at all really, can download it and they can modify it and use it however they want. We looked at some other bottles and they always had a little bit of plastic. We wanted to eliminate that and make everything fully compostable, biodegradable, and eco-friendly. So we made it out of paper. The base and top are both folded like a regular die line. Here's the base unfolded, and here's the top. Here's how you fold the base. And here's how you fold the top. These complex folds are there because that's what makes the child protection mechanism work. These tabs on the top slot into the holes on the bottom. Make it so you can't pull it apart. It slides in and locks when you try to take it off. The only way to get it off is to squeeze in the sides. See? And that's why we have this mechanism inside the bottle to make sure the sides spring out. Do we make mistakes along the way? Let's just say this wasn't the first design. We tried paper molds, but found out they weren't very exact. We tried more cylindrical tops, but realized we needed plastic inserts. We almost gave up on water resistant coatings until we discovered the wonders of beeswax. Now we've produced bottles for trial in independent pharmacies with a limited budget, but we're hoping to scale up and get them in the big pharmacies soon. The prescription paper pill bottle has already jump-started the conversation on sustainability in healthcare packaging, what we call the greening of healthcare. But there's much work to be done. Moving forward, we plan to continue distribution of the paper bottles to independent pharmacies for trial then move on to designing sustainable blister packs in the EU. Here's our plan. Optimize production to lower costs, distribute the bottle to a wider audience, and finally, track our impact of reducing waste and protecting the planet. With the expansion from independent pharmacies to the larger big box operations, we project a sizable reduction of plastic pill bottles over the next few years. A lofty task? Maybe but we are determined. Thank you all. Make sure that you follow us on Instagram. And remember, medicine that's good for your health now comes in packaging that's good for the planet.